Hi, and welcome to Bits of Blender. I'm here with my boy Richard. Hello. Today we're going to do a quick tip on the cast modifier. And that's Johnny, our Jack Russell, who just is shaking in the background. All right, let's get rid of that default square and add a monkey, which Blender is one of the few programs where you can say add a monkey. Seriously. I'm going to just add a subsurface modifier. Set smooth. Just so it's a nice looking monkey. <laughs> <laughs> now I just like saying that, so. I'm gonna give us a little bit more room so it's easier to see on the smaller videos. Set it to horizontal. Let's just go ahead and hide these other ones. And I'm gonna add the cast modifier. Let's bring that up just a little bit more. Ooh. <laughs> so now what you can see is it's making this monkey turn into a sphere along these three axes. Cool. So we're looking down at the, the X and Y, and we turn off the X, and it's only affecting it along the, the Y and the Z. Change it this way, it's only affecting along the X and the Z, or just the X. Ooh. You have a couple options. You can also make it a cube, <laughs> cuboid. <laughs> or a cylinder. In, the, in this case, the cylinder is like on its side. Right. Because we're on the top view. Right, right. So it's not really on its side. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I like the sphere. Yeah. We could decide how much we really want that sphere to affect it. And we could go up to one. We could go beyond one. So wow. You <laughs> know, start, start waiting. You could go negative. Ooh, that looks kind of funny. Which, that's kind of neat. Yeah. Let's go back there. And you can set a radius for that sphere. Let's bump that up. Ooh. So now it's blown it up beyond the size of the original thing, which before, when we were setting that factor, it was uh, keeping more or less the size of the original. Yeah. Now... A cool thing is you could specify a vertex group for an area that only that area is affected. And you could specify an object that is forcing the cast, which that's kind of neat. So for example, let me add an empty. I'll just bring that over here. And I'll select our balloon monkey head. <laughs> and I'll type in empty. Remember, Blender is case sensitive, so you have to type it in exactly. So now we specified that there's a sphere around this thing with this radius. I'm gonna bring it in. So if we whoa. turn, whoa, that looks so cool. So you could animate this this empty and have sort of interesting effects. And you know, moving the empty around, we could make it a little smaller. Let's go 0.25. So it doesn't have the same radius. So it doesn't have as much of a bump in the head. Yeah. So if we bump this up a little bit. It gets bigger and bigger. Got a nice bump in his head. <laughs> and it's important, this from getting the size of the sphere from the radius uh, actually produces a nicer looking result. Ooh. So you can see when you, when you do the size not from the radius, uh, you get a lot of this sort of thing going on, which I don't really like. Uh, we can also sorry, I just like doing that. Uh, <laughs> here, let's go ahead and turn that off for a second. And we'll increase let's increase the radius. Oh, he's ballooning out. <laughs> All right, let me show you one more thing. If I say use this transform, now watch. Whoa. It's not doing much with an empty here. 
Yeah. But if I were to add another shape here, cube, and specify the cube, use transform. Oops. Let's set this back to zero. Oh. There we go. That's a very interesting effect. And I think if we do that with... Actually, I think the issue was... Uh, so I could scale it down. See how it's having an effect there? Yeah. If I turn use transform off, then... It's not moving it around. Right. And I think... Let's see. I just want to see if it's... See there, it's not the same as when I had the cube and use transform on. Ooh. Scaling works. Yeah, it moves on that thing. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah, I guess it is the same. Almost looks like it's mirroring it. Yep. Well, it's not mirroring it. Well. Kind of. Not really. But. <laughs> All right. That's the cast modifier. Have fun with it. Uh, I guess we could show... I guess we could show vertex groups since we're here. Uh, let's go to weight painting and we'll specify that. Well, let's see. <laughs> Just that. Just the nose. And we'll say, I happen to know it, that, that when we created the new group there, just now, it's called group. So now it's just the nose that's being affected. That's funny. Certainly looks interesting. <laughs> All right, that's the cast modifier. Have fun with it. I do.